It's finally here. It's been a bit of a wait for Nuka World, but it's here nonetheless. Bethesda's is sixth and final addition to the huge world of Fallout 4. But when looking at the impressively crazy new area, it's hard to think it wasn't worth the wait. As Nuka World is filled with new places to explore, new people to meet, and more stuff to shoot at. And of course, in true Bethesda fashion, Nuka World has plenty of hidden easter eggs and references to be found. Some are obvious, but others are so subtle you might have missed them yourself. So this week we'll be taking a look at just a few we found so far. Let's start with the obvious. Nuka World was clearly inspired by Disney theme parks, and even though it has World in the name, the actual map of the park seems to borrow a lot more from the original California Disneyland design than the larger and more separated Disney World. But it isn't just the layout of the parks that have a lot in common, many of the rides and areas do too. The Galactic Zone mirrors the retro futurism of Tomorrowland. The Nuka Galaxy roller coaster appears to be a reference to the classic Space Mountain, one of the most famous indoor roller coasters in the world. Another possible reference is the world of refreshment, which is probably a play on the spirit of refreshment attraction, sponsored by none other than the Coca-Cola company, and found in the real Tomorrowland. The kid-friendly blast off ride looks an awful lot like Disney's Astro Orbiter. One funny possible coincidence is the red rocket station found in Nuka World. As you probably know, red rockets have been in Fallout 4 already, but it is worth noting that the real red rockets, a pizza place, not a filling station, does in fact exist in Tomorrowland as well. Dry Rock Gulch seems to be a reference to Disneyland's old-timey Frontierland, as both are based on the American Old West. The main attraction in Dry Rock Gulch is Mad Mulligan's Minecart Coaster, which also bears a heavy resemblance to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad arguably Frontierland's best attraction. Not that it has much competition, unless you're one of those weird kids who is dying to go in the Mark Twain riverboat for some reason. Getting back on track, Nuka Town USA seems to be modelled after Main Street USA. Safari Adventure functions as Nuka World's stand-in for Critter Country, but with a jungle theme. Kitty's Kingdom is different though, and seems to be a combination of both Mickey's Toontown and Fantasyland, and it even includes Fantasyland's famous Mad Tea Party ride. But of course, references to Disney's attractions aren't the only thing you can find in Nuka World. You might come across a few other interesting easter eggs too. If you stop into one of the many dilapidated houses just beyond the Nuka World Red Rocket, you'll find a Chinese officer's sword sticking out of the floor, surrounded by a circle of ashes in front of a table of creepy candles. You'll have the option to kindle the fire. If you do, a few Stimpaks will appear out of nowhere and the fire will ignite. This is obviously a reference to the Dark Souls franchise, where players can use bonfires, which for some reason always have swords in them, to rest and heal up, among other things. There is a few movie references to be found in Nuka World as well. If you take a tour off his top mountain, and climb up on a rooftop inside, you might just come across a small but very clear shout out to Han Solo's Time Frozen in Carbonate at the end of Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back and the beginning of The Return of the Jedi. Well, that's not all though. A reference to Psycho's classic shower scene can also be found inside Kitty Kingdom's funhouse. One small easter egg that got Fallout fans everywhere very excited wasn't even a reference to another franchise. Seen in a loading screen of Nuka World is a soda machine and a text block that reads, although the Nuka Cola Corporation would never admit it. Nuka Cola Wild was released to directly compete with Sunset Sarsaparilla after attempts to acquire that company met with failure. This reference to Fallout New Vegas' signature drink surprised some gamers, since Bethesda hasn't always seemed too eager to reference the Obsidian title in Fallout 4. Some fans don't even believe that New Vegas is canon in the world of Fallout 3 and 4, but this would appear to dispute that. And if Bethesda do deny it being canon, I'm going to riot, just saying. If you have any theories about this, we would love to hear them in the comment section below. Oh, and speaking of comments, it's now time for our comment showcase. This week we have Cinewave 1 who let us know a pretty interesting fact. The Fancy Lad snacks aren't just a reference to the Little Debbie snack brand, they're also directly named after an old World of Warcraft guild of the popular gaming site and webcomic Penny Arcade. Thanks for that Cinewave. This week's shorty comment is from Flamelord45 who says, Did you know that Nuka World is based on real life Disney World? 
Illuminati confirmed. And now, it's time for some trivia. Okay, last week we asked you what the original name for medics in Fallout 3 was, and many of you got it correct. It was C. Morphe. This week we have a Nuka World question. Which one of these attractions is not found in Kitty Kingdom? Is it A. Nuka Cade, B. Teacups, C. Nuka Racers, or is it D. Candy Town Playground? Tell me your answer in the comments section below and while you're down there why don't you tell me your thoughts on Fallout 4's DLC Nuka World if you've had a chance to play it. I've got to say it's very good compared to the rest of Fallout 4's DLC. It's certainly gone out with a bang and I just hope we see more of this creativity in the future. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already and I'll see you guys on the next Hidden History. Bye bye.